Oh my goodness, good evening, good evening. It's Thursday again. It's when we as APL Go members just have a cuddle, you know, and kind of, you know, talk to each other, check each other out, who's crying, who can't do certain things. We are here to help you. Tonight it's training, tonight it's interactive, tonight it's discussions that we really struggle with. So we try our best to kind of touch base on certain things. Sometimes we can't go too deep, but please stay till the end so you can ask questions. I will still be here after the session and you can ask questions that you need to ask so that you know we help each other. So every Thursday it's training for us. Every Thursday, we, we normally say it's for new members, but we realize that um, some of us have been here for a while, but we're still learning as well. So there's no way you can say your cup is full. So your cup must always be, you know, have some space for more learning, you know, be ready to be, you know, coached. Let let there be mentors in your life. So that's what we just said as. My name is Julia Malita, and I've been with this business ever since inception in 2021. Please help me mute those who are speaking. And it's been a roller coaster journey. It's been one of the businesses where I have learned so much more than the 10 years I've been in network marketing. This one taught me what is it that I wasn't doing right. And that's why I value these Thursday sessions because this is what I wish I had when I started 10 years ago within the industry. But APL Go changed it all. And that's why we're doing these sessions. So make sure that you always tell your team members that, look, you think there's no training, but there is. You think that we don't support each other, but we do. Do not miss these Thursday sessions. That's what it's meant for. Look, I'm not driving alone. I'm not doing all this alone. And it goes about family. I have my lovely sister here, Octavia, and I would love for her to also introduce herself before we start. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Leader Julia. Good evening, everybody, all our associates, our business partners, family. My name is Octavia Moabi, and I'm from Soweto in Joburg South. I'm so excited to be with all of you today. I'm so excited to have Julia as my co-pilot. Yes, please do not miss these Thursday sessions. They are so interactive and informative, and we are really, really happy to have you with us um, tonight. Hi, Lerato, how are you doing today? I see you in the chat. Thank you so much. Please do use the chat to have a conversation with us. And... Um, We'll just get started, as Julia said. So we've got a great lineup for you tonight, everybody. Um, it's our successful partner start session on this uh, fantastic festive season Thursday. And what I would like to do is start off with our admin. So by admin, basically what I'm saying is our information with regards to our office. We've got a lovely corporate office at Clearwater Business Park. And I'm going to share some information with you, which I'd like you to share with your um, partners and team members. So basically, our office, like I said, is based at um, building number five in Clearwater Office Park. So that's in uh, Corner Christian Devate Road and Millennium Boulevard in Rotterport, right? We've got a lovely corporate team there that is always available to assist you. Please use those facilities. They are there for us as business owners to be able to interact with the team and then to be able to also have um, training sessions and just networking sessions and master classes at the office. So obviously when you do need to use those facilities, you'll need to book um, in advance. And for that, you can book telephonically. The telephone number that we use is 010. 510-1179. I'll repeat that. 010-510-1179. That's the landline for the corporate office in uh, Rode Ports. And then for email purposes and communication, you just email support.za at aplgo.com. And if you need to have any discussions with regards to your orders, then you contact the team on orderpayments.za at aplgo.com. So thank you so much, team, for joining us. Please do keep that information close at hand and share it with everybody so that we can communicate effectively with our corporate office. We've got a lovely team at the corporate office, as I mentioned. They're always willing to help. 
Then what I'd like to share with you is the Bali Incentive Qualifier. So there's so much excitement and buzz around that. And I'd like to take this opportunity to congratulate everybody who has taken the first step and qualified for the first step. So ladies and gentlemen, and all our qualifiers, those of you who managed to do your 300 PV over activity for the step one of the Bali Incentive, Congratulations and massive celebration. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Well done, guys. <laughs> well done. Can boom, we boom, see boom, in the chat? Those who are still in line to go ahead and qualify, there's still some time. So please just drop us uh, drop us a message in the chat and say, hey, naming call, na naming da. I'm yeah. coming. I'm also yeah. coming. I'm coming. <laughs> Let's take we'll it away. Let's go, let's go, let's go, guys. Bali, Bali, here we come. Bali, here we come. Yeah, oh. <laughs> Indeed. That's, That's exactly it, Lida Julia. <laughs> Bali, here we come. Yeah, uh, let's oh. see the chat leadership. I'm not starting. I'm not continuing until I see that. All yes, right. Lida Julia. Yeah. Bali, here we come. Yeah, oh. I also qualified. <laughs> I did my first step. Yeah, oh. yeah. Fancy, Bali will never be the same. Indeed, <laughs> I'm loving that so up? much. Who's still going to be Anyone else want to check with us about Bali? <laughs> we see okay. you. Oh yeah, <laughs> Bali here come. Hey, yes, so wow. we Awesome. Yes, yeah, Tulane. Well, yes. Many stones, Tulane, Tumanda. Yeah, wow, well, well, let's go, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> this is so exciting. Fantastic. Uh, look, yeah, we still have time. We still have time. 10 days, it's a lot of days. So until the end of this December, you still have time to do your over activity. Yeah, you got me excited, leadership. Oh, you got me excited. Yes, Mam Sani. <laughs> Mam Sani is joining us. Fantastic. Ladies and gentlemen, let's all push. Hey, I've been in this business since April of 2021, and I've had a bit of a slow start. Trudging along, trudging along, but yes, Nina will get there, will get there, you know. Day by day, when we do our bit of work, we are consistent, yeah. you know. We attend the training sessions, we support each other, we communicate with our sponsors, and eventually we will get there, you know. We are okay. money makers, we are business people, we are a family at APL Go. And I just like to say, guys, we are going to do it. And once again, congratulations to our qualifiers. We've got a fantastic lineup for you this evening, and I'd like to hand over to Julia to start us off. Thank you so much, and over to you, Leader Jules. Thank you so much. But let's, let's do this. All right. So, leaders, this is what we'll be talking about today. And I'll be talking to you about personal brand, sponsor value, the golden list, duplication power, compensation plan power, and art of promotion. And then our leader, uh, Buffett, okay, we call her Buffett, so leader Octavia, <laughs> will be hitting us off with the goal setting, time management, and personal power. So look, this means you need to get your pen and paper. I, I show you some of the things you know, but how we're going to explain it, you're just going to be blown away. So be ready, sit back, relax. Um, please don't take your alcohol beverages yet because you might miss a few points. <laughs> We want your full attention. You rather take, you know, um, either power or GTS, but don't take RLX. No, no, we're not doing RLX right now. Afterwards, when you want to relax, yes, <laughs> you can do your RLX then because we don't want you to sleep in the middle of our chat today, right? Okay, so either you're starting or you, you're here for the long haul. You will get to a point that you understand that personal branding is crucial, okay? So you need to understand what this is and why it is so important. The more I started learning about this personal branding, the more I realized that you want something that people are going to remember you by beyond just even APL goal beyond just network marketing beyond that you are a whole person beyond that so remember that don't box yourself too much and you know only stick to a certain thing but you need to sit down and say look 
this is my personal brand and this is how I would love people to view me, to look at me. And uh, when they say my name, what is the first thing that comes to mind? When you say Tulani, what do you remember Tulani by? Immediately it should click. Now that's when you know Tulani has built a brand. When Buffett does the same, you're like, gosh, I know she is good with this. So you even know where to go for certain things because you know who has built a brand in that field, right? So when we're talking about our business, we're talking also about making sure that when you talk about health, you also follow that as well, right? So meaning when you are talking about healthy things, you cannot be saying, look, for you to feel good, you need to be taking NRM. And when you're supposed to take it, you are not taking it, you're taking something else. You need to live by what you are saying. So when we're talking about health, we're talking about mental health, physical health, psychological health. We're talking about all things healthy. So when you are the brand of, of a business that talks about health, remember all those things, right? Don't be those people who say, look, um, don't do as I do, do as I say. You know those people. <laughs> Those people who say, look, I preach, but it doesn't mean I do what I preach. It doesn't mean I act on what I say. Do not be that person because you're going to be caught out. And when people, you lose integrity when it comes to that, you're going to have a huge problem because that then looks at what your image is. That, that is, okay, help me to mute uh, and admit those who are coming in. So yes, so please make sure that you keep the health, you 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 talk about what you you know you preach about, which is links into your image. And we take it lightly that a smile can do so much for you. A smile not only is a projection of how you're feeling at that time, but a smile can take you out of depression. A smile can help you personally. A smile involves so many muscles in your body that it can revive the state that you're in. So you see, personal branding, it's, 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 um, it's something that you can do a full course on. As you know, there are people who study personal branding, but it's really important that you remember certain aspects about it. One thing I don't want you to forget out of all of this is that have a brand that you know that this is what you're good at and stick to it, okay? So if Julia loves 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 uh, teaching, if Julia loves coaching, even when they are within any environment, whether it's APL Go, whether it's at work, it doesn't matter. Julia comes across as the exact type of person. So I, I hope you are getting that because I want to, continue to the next one, but I really want you to understand that it all starts with you. It all starts with how you view APL Go. It all needs to come back to the fact that you are actually the ambassador of APL Go. You are the brand of the business as well. So be careful what you say to people. Be careful. It will come back to you. So when you are building something, you are not building just for now. You are building so that people can remember you there. The way you make people feel, they will never forget it. You can do so much for people. But if you made them feel in a certain way, that's how they will remember you. So that, in summary, is what we really wanted to share with you just to start off. All right. So now that you know who you are, now that you know your brand, please be grateful for your sponsor. Please value your sponsor. Can we see in the chat, please? Please type in the name of your sponsor. If you've never said thank you to your sponsor, please go into the chat and say their name and really show gratitude. Before I continue with this one, can you please just type in there and express what you really want, love about it. Oh, you're not my wife. 
I see that. Leseho, thank you. Okay, I see that. I'm waiting. Tuliani Sabanda, awesome. Lida Asnath, my life is changing. Isn't that awesome? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Mina, thank you. Antoinette, thank you. Thank you for your Nakanye. Thank you, Albert and Natalia. Wow. Wow. This is so heartwarming. If it wasn't for them, we wouldn't be here. Victoria, thank you. Natalia and Lorato, thank you. Knox, thank you. Wow. <laughs> How often do we even express gratitude to our sponsor? Let's let's learn to do that. Emma, thank you. This is getting emotional for me. Okay, I didn't plan it this way, but it, it, I'm just really starting to think now, how often do we really say, look, we appreciate you? Now, these are some of the things that I would like you to kind of note about a sponsor. You see here in APL Go, within APL Go, we talk about sponsoring. We're not talking about recruiting. Recruiting is just signing up someone. But when you sponsor someone is when you take care of that person. All right. So when your sponsor asks you to do something, please don't stick to the why, 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 why. Make sure you ask what, the what question. What is it that you need to do? Okay. And actually do it. You'll be surprised at the results that you get. Once you come in with your previous misconceptions of how the relationship between a sponsor should be, then you really gonna struggle. So I would like you to sit there in a moment and really think your sponsor is the person who has your best interest at heart. So what they advise you on cannot really be of malicious intent. It cannot be, think about it. They have your best interest at heart. They want you to succeed because they do understand that your success will directly impact their success. So please, what should be the main question that you'll be asking? Think of all the conversations you've had with your sponsor. This is what you need to look at. So your responsibility is to make sure that you have constant contact. You see, where I come from, um, I was taught that if my sponsor doesn't contact me, the sponsor doesn't care. But then when you think about it, leaders, you are the one who needs the help. This is your business. If you had your own traditional business and you had a mentor, you had a coach, you are the one who's supposed to contact them, not the other way around. They can't be running after you. It means that it's your responsibility to bother your sponsor. <laughs> it's your responsibility to ask them a million questions. It's your responsibility to say to them, look, I do not understand this. Please help me. So constant contact is crucial for your growth. Because remember, the only way for you to have a business within APL Go is when you register under someone. But it's still your business. So you are here for yourself, but not by yourself. You automatically have mentors and coaches and trainers within the business. So please remember that when your sponsor does not contact you, it's not entirely their responsibility. They need to be working for you. And when somebody works for you, you tell them what you need. I'm not saying your sponsor should just totally ignore you. I'm not just saying your sponsor shouldn't even try and contact you. But I'm saying the main responsibility lies with you contacting your sponsor. The, sec the other thing is that they're your second mother. Okay, we use the word mother, but not in terms of female. Mother in terms of nourishment. A sponsor is someone who nourishes you. So please 
for for the male in the session please don't be offended by the mother it is really just what it represents okay so your sponsor will definitely help you will start with you from you crawling and then walking and then running so when you value them value them understanding this is what they bring to the table when you do your planning, do it with your sponsor. When you do it alone, somewhere along the way, your 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 plans are just not gonna are not gonna clash are, are going to clash. So you need to be going a certain way. You need to be sharing. Okay, there's someone meeting. You need to be sharing your plans. You need to be sitting together and planning because when the two of you do it, it's so much better. Unlike if it's just you alone. That's why three-way calls are the calls that will help you close those deals. If you remember my, 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 my session two weeks ago, I was talking about prospecting. And I talked about three-way calls. It's so crucial that we miss this part. You see, your sponsor is the one who's supposed to close your deals. But then if you don't have that relationship with your sponsor, who's going to close your deals? Who's going to help your team when you are not available? So that's the reason you need to have a good relationship. Now, the questions, remember we talked about the what question? I really like to also to talk about how to do something. The how to. You see, what how I grew as a sponsor is when my team asked me, Julia, how do I do this? Because sometimes I wouldn't know how. I would always go run and ask. And that makes me then learn as a sponsor as well. Because I'll be saying, look, I'm not familiar with that, but I will, you know, let me go try and find out. But that doesn't mean that if the person asks me that, they don't do their own research. They don't search for ways that they can grow their business. It doesn't mean that. But what it means is that we grow together because it doesn't mean your sponsor knows everything. Every time I am stuck, I'll go, Natalia, yo, how do you do this? How is this done? Because it doesn't mean as a sponsor, you know everything. And that's how we grow and learn. And I must say within APL Go, we are lucky to have sponsors, not recruiters. And when you stick to just recruiting, this is what makes people not like network marketing. Was what recruiters do, they bring you on board and they forget about you. And then we then say, ah, they just wanted my money. They just wanted me to sign up. They don't actually care. So please do not be that person. Because within APL, we value, we value sponsorship. Remember, even if you don't have a team now, you are also a sponsor. Because soon people will be signing up and you will need to make sure that you take care of them. So learn as much as you can if you don't have a team yet, even if you do. But for those who don't have a team yet, please learn as much as you can about what sponsorship is. Please grow as much so that by the time those people come, they really enjoy being under your wing. They really enjoy you grooming and helping them, working together, whatever the case is. Do not wait to learn about how to take care of a team when you have a team. Like, it's late. So do it now. If you already have a team and there's certain elements, ask your team for feedback. Grow from that. Look at yourself. Tell, ask yourself, what is it that you need to be doing? So, I hope from today, you actually will value your sponsor. Right. Can we talk about the golden list? Who knows what the golden list is? Who knows what the golden list is? <laughs> The most important instrument and document in your network life. Mm, 
Oh, yes, mommy. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Indeed. Indeed. So, you see this list, leaders. <laughs> we take it for granted. I can tell you that much. Now, whether you have started already, uh, you've been with us for a while, or you knew, you need to make sure that daily you are adding prospects to your list. I do believe we all know that we should be having a list of prospects. I think that's the common ground for all network market in the network marketing industry, that we need to have a list and we know where to get that list. You get the list from your phone, your phone lists, phone numbers that you have in your phone. You get that list from when you go out and meet people, you add to the list. You get that list everywhere you go. You get that list online, social media, wherever the case is. But we all know that we need to be having prospects. So it means you need to have that list. But what is important and what will keep us going, our core function is to always be prospecting. So meaning you on a daily basis, you must add prospects to that list. That's when you will see that there are a lot of people in the world. The only time you are going to say, I don't know who to speak to anymore, is the day you stopped adding prospects to the list. Adding more people to the list. Because if you don't have a list, you do not have business. Because our business, it's about people. It's about connecting with people. It's about relationships. So please make sure that you do have that list. Without it, you're going to be frustrated. Without it, you're going to say this business doesn't work, which the business can't just work. We are the ones who are supposed to work. So please understand that this list it's a tedious thing, but it's the crucial thing for your business to grow. Now, when you write this list, you will have two notebooks. You have one notebook where you are writing the people that you go into prospect. And the other notebook is those that they have attended either presentations already or three-way calls or whatever the case is. But there has been engagement towards uh, them uh, being in the business. So it's very important to have these two lists so that you can continuously see that, okay, I had 200 people on this list and then out of the 200, how many actually attended? And then after, after you see how many have attended, it might be 20 of them, those who attended presentations, how many of them actually signed up or how many of them are customers? Then you're going to understand the power of averages, the power of numbers, the power of the more you speak to people, the more chances you have for people to either be customers or actually be business partners. You see this one of not deciding for people. It's, it's the same concept of do not judge anyone. Leaders, I think somehow it's within us, we assume that I'm, that person that you see will not either join or does not need the supplements. You already prejudge. You already decide what is it that they want. If we can start learning not to do that, you will see that actually the person you thought will not make it in the business is the one that actually makes it way better than anyone else. It might be the person who is more hungrier than the others. It might be a business person who understands that they need another income. You think they have money and you're saying, ah, this one has businesses. They will never listen to me. Do not decide for them. Introduce this. Get to understand what is it that they need so that when you introduce it, you bring APL Go as a solution to their challenges. I was speaking to Natalia now before we, we, we started, and she was saying their neighbors are actually quite wealthy people. 
Yes, they do work. They've got businesses. Yes, they do have the money. But then they're really puzzled by Natalia and her husband, Sergei, that they're always traveling. They're like, but you guys, you say you are in business, but you're always somewhere. <laughs> somewhere in the sky, somewhere in the sea, somewhere, somewhere. So you see, once they get interested in that because they didn't think network marketing is actually a business, don't you think those are the best candidates? Because later in a few years, they'll be like, I want to do this. I'm tired of working every day. I'm tired of making sure that my business offices, water is paid, lights are paid. There's so many overheads with having a business. I want to give it to someone to manage. I want to travel. I want to do this business that you're doing. So it allows me to travel. So do not judge anyone. Do not decide for people. Now, this is your secret weapon. This is the golden list. And it does not stop, by the way. It just gets better and better because you get better and better at prospecting. You get to understand how to do it. I hope this is helping you because we don't talk enough and in detail about it. Maybe it's because we don't have time because we're all busy. But really leaders, I encourage you to go in the group. Sometimes when you're experiencing certain challenges, just type in the group. Can we have a Zoom presentation where we talk about one, two, three? Because sometimes we are unable to talk about certain things because we don't know your challenges. So go there and say, can we have one Zoom presentation on Thursday that we go dive, deep dive, deep dive into certain aspects of our network marketing journey. So this is your golden list. Now, guess what happens when you have your golden list and out of your golden list, you do have business partners now. And imagine what will happen when your team comes on board and they do what you did. Let's talk about duplication. So how do you know that you're succeeding? You know that when there's duplication in your team. How do you know there's duplication in your team? When already you have three levels down, already you have three levels down, they are doing exactly what you're doing without you even interfering. They are duplicating, meaning they are able to grow their team in the most simplest way that you actually taught them. That's when you know there's duplication. The challenging thing within network marketing is that you can have duplication of positive things and of negative things. Just like a child, when they see you do certain things, they don't see it, whether positive or negative. They're like, oh, mommy and daddy are doing this. So it means it's okay. They're going to do it. But then when that is duplicated, you need to make sure that whatever is duplicated in your team is not negative things. What are negative things that can be duplicated in your team? I'm not going to talk about it. I'm going to pause a bit here. I'm going to go to the chat. As we said, this is an interactive session. I'm going to go to the chat. Please type for me what you've seen are negative things that the team can duplicate that can really harm or hinder or derail your business leaders. What have you, I'm sure we all have experienced something. I'm sure we've experienced some of it. Just list for me. Gossiping. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, wow, that's, that's a heavy one uh, to learn. Uh, woo. <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> Gossiping, yeah. What else, leaders? What can be a negative thing that it's still duplicated within the team that can harm your business? Remember, we're here to learn from each other. I am not 
facilitating this session because I'm an expert. I'm facilitating it because I want to share what I know. And I would like for you to also share what you know. Personal issues, team dynamics, yes. Ooh, showing favors, I see that. Lack of commitment, TD. So if they see that you are not committed as a leader, guess what they're going to do? Comparison with other products from different MLMs. Okay, so that kind of derailed the growth. I'm professionals and being late for meetings. Ah, that one. <laughs> yeah. <ne? laughs> Ooh, negativity. Okay. Sharing incorrect information. Oh, Lida, that one. It can it's go like so deep. It's like broken telephone, Lida Julia. You know, you say one thing and then you pass it on to the next team member and it's incorrect. By the time it gets right down Ooh. to your last leg, hey, there's confusion. There's confusion. They don't know what's right, what's wrong. Yo, and in correcting that takes yo a huge effort. And you can lose people along the way doing that. Prejudging prospects. So leaders, really, 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 um, <laughs> like Lead Octavia is saying, it's really crucial that we start off our business on the right foot. Allowing our team to duplicate the right thing. If you are the person who always gossips or talks negatively about other people in your team, they are going to do the same. And by the time it ravels out, there'll be so much scratching of each other that you cannot rebuild it. So please be careful. There's certain things in your business that you need to be careful of. Be professional. Yes, be friendly. Yes, do get to understand your team. Mutual understanding. We're all here for business, but we also like to be in each other's company. So please, leaders, this is important. So what do we need to ask ourselves every time when you do something, that when you want to build your team? The question that is important is, is it possible to duplicate this? So if you're doing something and it's not duplicatable, then please do not do it. I'll give you an example. And this is a typical example. And this one, I'm not going to stop talking about it every time I present because I've seen it, how it harmed my business growth. Leaders, because I took my time and understood the product, understood the complaint, I understood the business and I was confident enough that whoever comes my way, I can explain it. Bona, shy. But I will immediately present to this to anyone that will lend me an ear. And that's where I killed it. I killed my business. The fact that I know the business. The fact that I understand the products. The fact that I can really present any of these sessions that we're having. It's not how you're supposed to do it when you meet your prospect. So now your prospects, they will look at me, my prospect. They'll look at me and they're like, oh, Mara Julia, when are you so good with this? Now how am I going to explain it? Now when am I going to travel and do this? Now I'm, doing, I'm busy with this. I've got a small baby and this. And then you're like, oh my goodness. That's not why I was explaining it to you. I was trying to show you that it's a good business. And the only thing they looked at is, okay, what you are doing, Julia, can I do it? If you're saying to me this is passive business, passive income, something that I can do at home, but you are doing it this way, you are not showing me it's possible. Automatic, it doesn't matter what I say after that. What sticks to their mind is firstly how I presented the whole thing to them. And then they're like, I'm not like you. I am interested, but I can't do what you do. I lost them. I lost them right there. I don't know anyone who's like me. Maybe I just want to feel better <laughs> to see if I've got friends. <laughs> to see if I've got friends. Because this is so crucial. It is so crucial that you understand that people look at what you do 
It's not necessarily what you say. Are you aware that people can join OPRGO without knowing any information? That's when you know that you're not supposed to be presenting to people. There are four steps that we talked about the last few weeks that you need to be following for you to make sure that people understand. Let's duplicate. Actually, let's do actions that help us duplicate. So when we're talking about duplication, it's easy to show someone also with numbers how it works. If I only show you that if you get two people, you know, they get their two people and all of that, this is the number in total you would get. How many levels are this? Three, four, five, six. And within six levels, you will have 126 people. If this is only what they see, that's what they will duplicate. If you then show them, if you just add one more person, it's three people. At the end, you have a certain number. Apologies for the, yeah, mistyping here. At the end, you'll have this number, but you just added one person. That's what your team will duplicate. You tell them like, look, just add another person, one more. One person, tell your team that you bring four people and everyone that comes, what you tell them to do is to bring four people. They duplicate in their head is I'm going to look for four people. I'm going to look for four people. I'm going to look for four people. It's duplication. That's all they're looking for. At the end, we have 5,460 people. Well, not at the end with this example. As you know, it can go further than this. But then look at five by five. So the difference between two, you bringing two people to five people is three people. So meaning now you're just saying to the team, we are bringing five people. Instead of having 126 people, you're going to have 19,530 people in your team. If it's 10 people, I vote. That's what will happen. So then you decide, what do you want for your team? What is something that you feel that this is duplicatable in my team? How do you want them to think? How do you want them to build? Give them something that we're all thinking the same and we're all doing the same thing. That's duplication. So the power of duplication shown in numbers, this is how it looks. Now, how powerful is that? I'm going to rush through this for obvious reasons, because we do have sessions on the comp plan. But because this session today is really just to help those who are just onboarded to get touch base on different aspects of the business. So I really want you to understand that within this business leaders, there's only one condition. There's only one condition. We all need to do our activity, our monthly activity. And what is important that we forget to tell the new members, if they are here, I hope they are listening. When you do your monthly activity, you need to make sure that whoever is on the left side is also doing the monthly activity. Whoever's on the right is doing the same. The condition of the company says, we need to have the mindset of business people. Your business needs to be open every day. And for this business to be open every day, we all need to make sure that our doors are open. So if you have members on leg one and members on leg two, and they are not opening their business, and their business is linked to yours, it means you're not in business. Because they need to duplicate what you're doing. If you are maintaining every month, they need to maintain as well. But you see, the beautiful thing about APL Go says, if you have five people on leg one, five people on leg two, for example, we're only saying at least let one person open their shop for the next month 
and one person on the other side also open their shop, irrespective of how many people you have. That way we will consider you as a person who has their business open the following month. That's what our activity is. This means that the following month, any bonuses that come, you will earn it because your business is open. How are you going to earn anything if your business is not open? If you closed your doors the following month, no one is going to come into the shop and buy anything. If your people on leg one and leg two, they've closed their shop, but you are open. They're the ones who bring business. So if they don't bring business, it means you don't have business. So I'm just going to explain it that way because I do know that most of us but do you all understand that there is one status that is most powerful than any other status you see it doesn't matter which rank you are the person who is at the highest rank at the moment who's at the highest rank mommy natalia Platinum ambassador. Platinum ambassador. Platinum ambassador. Who is that? Do you know who that who is that person? Nina Shashukova. Nina. <laughs> Nina. You know her. Yep. You remember I her remember from Nina with a red suit when we were yes. at Yes. Yeah. <laughs> but you know what is her statues? <laughs> oh my word. The statues is also diamond is yours. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you see. Exactly my point. If you little can understand that she is at the highest in terms of rank, but guess what? She's still a diamond. So meaning this is the most powerful rank you can be at. This is where you do not lose any money. This is where APL God doesn't take any way from because you are earning everything that needs to come to you. That's what you're doing. You are earning everything. So part of your plan as you sit with your sponsor is planning when you're going to be a diamond and how to get there. Within our system as well, our compensation plan, we have this hybrid nineary. I ask you to, to, to teach yourself about this. Sometimes we don't dwell too much into it because people are still struggling to understand um, eight pain legs. How, how is that possible? And what do you mean? Do you mean I need to have eight people? No, it's, it's, it's branches. It's like having nine branches and you're earning from eight of them. You see, so people still don't understand it. But I urge you to go and go look for this. Read about it. Ask questions. We've got the SA support group. Ask there if your sponsor is not good or your sponsor can really, really help you out just to explain what this means. Because you see, once you understand the compensation plan, you can plan. You can plan because you already know what the highest rank is. You already know that. You already know that at some point you need to be having nine legs and you can end from eight. That is crazy. We already have multi-millionaires, but they only have three legs. Imagine when they get to eight, what's going to happen? So you see, this helps with your vision of where you want to go. The beautiful thing is the volume you accumulate in your big lake will always remain yours. And then I want to add to this is that the volume that you have in your big lake, what I love about it is that it is volume that is added by spillovers as well but you still earn from that and spillovers i'm talking about your upliners and downliners now that's powerful because when your sponsor says look i've registered someone you benefit when someone in your team who came after you also registers someone or they themselves join it you benefit like Oh, guys, yo, hi. This is powerful. This is powerful. 
So make sure you take a look at that. Make sure you understand how the PVs work, because PVs is money. Please understand that. We have special bonuses. We have four periods in our company. As you know, the month has four weeks, kind of. So those are the four periods. Remember, you are paid weekly. We end Thursday, Friday. We know it's our payday. I don't know if everyone knows this. If you haven't earned yet, just know that we just got paid. <laughs> and we're going to be paid soon. Thursday or Friday, we always get the money. My part is ending with the art of promotion and leader Octavia will continue with you leaders. But the art of promotion. You need to be good at promoting your business. Unfortunately or fortunately, I don't know which way to use. You will tell me. The MLM industry has negative connotations. Most people immediately when they hear you talking about network marketing, they close their ears or they're already negative. We have the responsibility to show them that this is an amazing business. They don't see it as a business even, but actually it is because it requires every skill. Promote the company, promote the lifestyle, promote the products, the complaints, the testimonies, Promote the leaders who have made it. If you haven't made it yet, please clap for those who have made it. Your turn will come. Do not just sit there quiet and look. Attend events. Be an amazing sponsor. And remember, this is for you as well. But not by yourself. I talked about the three-way call. It is powerful. Peter, Octavia. I hope you're still here, leadership. Yes, I'm still here. Thank you so much for those nuggets, um, Leader Julia. You're I'm really, really happy with um, the challenges that we discussed with regards to the business. And, and the chat has been so interactive. I'm loving the lack of commitment, complacency, the negativity. Now, the reason I'm saying I'm loving it it's not because I'm loving that negativity. What I love is the fact that now we are identifying the issues and what we're gonna do now that we know what the issues are is to resolve them, right? Because once you know what issues you are facing, then it is easy to fix them in order to progress in the business. So all of these that have been discussed, that is a prejudging of prospects, the complaining, we know that it exists, right? But we are going to mitigate it and get rid of it and be successful and work together. So you're probably asking yourself, okay, now how do we start with that? Simple, setting goals. So goal setting is something that we talk about. Everywhere you go, you hear about you must set goals. How do you set goals and all of that? Your goals need to be attainable and realistic, right? They need to, you need to see a picture of what's smart. So it is S for specific, M for measurable, A for attainable, R for relevant, and T for time-based. So let's just look at maybe just one dream that you have, right? Okay, I'll be the guinea pig for this one and I'll talk about No, leadership, your line is not clear. Oh, my goodness. We're going to miss the guinea pig part of it. I go. Um, I love us. Did Octavia, maybe if you can hear me, your... maybe close close your camera. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see if that will help. Okay. It, it, did she leave? Let's see. Yes, Julia. Okay. 
All right. So I will continue. All right. So yeah. So I think yeah. Um, I think I really want her back. I want to hear the example <laughs> that she was gonna give. I was quite excited about that. Okay. So yes, here we're talking Hi, about. Man. I'm back. Are you able to hear me? Yes. Oh, apologies about that. I had my camera on. I think it was the bandwidth. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay, great stuff. Let me just okay. quickly continue with that one. We'll just do that brief uh, example of my verpad, right? Uh, we need to be specific. So in terms of being specific, you need to see it in your head. Picture it, the color, that free flow, you know, oh, that you're okay. hearing. Hear it. Hear it. Let me just mute the uh, laptop here. Okay, great. And then another thing is just to see yourself driving down the freeway, obviously observing the speed limit, guys. <laughs> <laughs> and just seeing the full picture and being specific about that goal that you want to achieve, right? And that is driving that four pipe, repair, your fast path. Then let's go to M, the measurable. Now you need evidence of your progress, right? So let's say that you're going to get a loan in order to buy it, or you're gonna buy it cash. You need to make sure that you know and have those resources available to you, right? Now, in order for us to be able to achieve that, your goal has to be attainable. So basically it is something that is achievable. So you just make sure that you know where to go in order to get it who to talk to in order to get that car. You need to make sure that you can afford it, guys. You know. Oh my. Buffett? It's starting again. Okay. okay, I think I will need to continue, but I'm going to need to get out. Okay. Um, Apologies for that, leaders. As you can hear, she is really struggling and she's quite eager to speak to us. So um, <laughs> short-term goals, as they are there, she was trying to explain that we need to make sure that everything that you do is relevant and time-based. So every time when you write down your goals, remember these things. Remember to be smart and remember what the smart actually stands for. All right, so let me just... Go on to the next one. Um, let's see. All right. So within all of that, we need to manage our time. We do understand, leaders, that indeed time is valuable. We need to know what we're going to do with time. It's very important you understand that you probably are still an employee. You probably are a parent. You are married. You have a partner. You have chores. You have family. You've got friends. You have APL goal as a business. Understand what time you actually have. Understand what you are going to sacrifice within all of those elements that require you. Understand what your priorities are. When you are building your business, certain things are going to change. They are definitely going to change. So it is important that you are true to yourself. We can really talk to you, teach you, and grow certain things. But if you don't actually do it, leaders, if you come to the sessions, it's like, ah, tick, I attended. That's it. You attended. Then what? What did you take out of it? What did you action out of it? So when you make your decisions, you must look at 
what is urgent, what is important, what is not urgent, what is not important. If you're starting to build your APL Go business, you need to understand that sometimes you will not be able to attend family functions. I think this is a big one. I had to decide whether to go to a family function or attend an event at APL Go and try and weigh the two. And we need to be realistic about these things. There are certain things that you're going to sacrifice because you are still building. So it's very important that you get to understand that. There's so many methods. Here we're putting the Franklin pyramid, you know, and the metrics and the ABC method. You decide which one works best for you. They're all really trying to help you. All these methods are trying to help you manage your time. Before you say you don't have time. The, I don't remember the last time. I'm not saying you should do the same. Obviously, reference will always be myself. I don't remember the last time watching drama on TV. I don't remember the last time. When I want to unwind and watch something, it's maybe a movie once in a while on TV or something. But that's what I had to sacrifice. I had to stop watching certain things because I thought I didn't have time. The two hours that I spent watching drama after hour was actually the two hours I could use to build the business. So that's one example I can give you. You think you don't have time, but actually you can trade off certain things that you're doing with you building your business. So when you're doing certain things, sometimes when we don't win, it's because we're trying to multitask. Rather do things in sequence. Rather say, I'm going to do this. After this, I'm going to do that. After this, I'm going to do that. Because we're giving you nuggets here to help you out. When you multitask, you're going to be overwhelmed. You're going to be tired. You're gonna, your brain is not going to know what to think because you're giving it a lot of things to think at the same time. Rather say, from this time to this time, this is what I'm doing. I'm prospecting. From this time to this one, I'm talking to my team. From this time to this time, I'm doing this. When you do it that way, leaders, you will see you'll be even more productive. Now, that helps because when you have your, your, your dream book where you're setting your goals and your to-do list, you, you, you need to have dreams about going global, you know? You need to have dreams about what, you know, I mean, plans of you doing things monthly, daily. You really need to put it in chunks. Look here, this, this whole thing about goal setting and planning, it's another module on its own. Like it's huge. Like we can have a whole session about it and sessions and sessions because there's so many examples out there. Please research leaders. I really urge you to just go on YouTube and research. If you're a TikTok person, go on TikTok. So check time management for business-minded people, whatever the case is, choose the one that works for you and follow it. So do not wait until you are perfect for you to do something. Do it. The more you do it, that's when you're going to get better. There's no way you can get to perfectionism. Just start. I'm sure you've heard people say, just start. Just do it, leaders. Now, the power is within you. The personal power is within you. Do you have a millionaire mindset? You need to ask yourself, what is that? And this is what I'll be closing off with. You need to be committed. I'm sure we are telling you things that you know of. But today, I really want you to think about it. If you're committed to something, you're going to give it your time. You are going to sacrifice certain things, as I said. And that's when people are going to say, who do you think you are? Now that you are in this business, you don't see us anymore. I'm sure you have told some people that have made it. Now they have this pride, you know. Now that they are driving this or they're living here, they think one, two, three. Let me tell you, as you grow as a business person, you want to interact with like-minded people. You want to be around people that are going to help you grow. 
if people that are around you are not helping you grow, you're going to be left behind. They're going to be left behind. They're going to feel the pain, but you're not doing it in purpose. It's because you are growing. You're going somewhere. So do not feel guilty when people talk about you. Because it means there's something to talk about. It means you're going somewhere. So your commitment, your sacrifice, you being consistent. You, I wish I can have a session on consistency. I think I'm going to talk about this. <laughs> consistency is the mother of them all. Because consistency doesn't say, wait until you're perfect. Consistency just says, look, you got to do this. As you said, you're going to do it. If you said on a daily basis, this is what you're going to do. Do it until until you see results. And by the time you see results, you'll be so used to it that it's second nature to you. And then you go into the next level and start something new that is challenging you. As human beings, we get bored. Let's see, Catherine, let's mute. Okay, thank you. So leaders, it's, 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 you see consistency, I wish I could expand it further. But this is what will yield the results. Because consistency says whether you are seeing the results or not yet, continue doing it anyway. Before you know it, you're like, oh my goodness, I can't believe I'm here. Posture. Look, you need to believe in what you're doing. Your confidence will show. Your posture is going to change. How you start speaking, how you start walking, where you start hanging around, how you start, you know, looking at things. Like everything starts changing. And this is what I want to say to you. If you want to be at a certain point and you have a vision of that, start acting like you are there already. Do not wait until you're there because you're not going to de get there until you are that person who is there. I don't know if this makes sense. Leaders, you need to behave like you are that vision that you're looking at. If you're a person who says, I love traveling, start traveling. Start doing short lifts. Short, short, just go here. And have fun there. Enjoy. Just for one day. Go there. If you're the person who really says, look, I like how so-and-so is living their life. Start living like that. Start seeing yourself like that. You don't understand. The universe works like that. So I'm going to talk about universe. I don't want to touch on other things because we don't believe in the same thing. But once you start having a certain posture, you start attracting similar people. It will help you along the way. It goes with your image, how you speak, how you dress. Remember we talked at the beginning about your brand? It goes with that. And I please ask you to attend events of the business. It is the best place to close your prospect. It is the best place to revitalize your love for the company. It is the best place to get excited again. It is the best place to get some type of training. It is the best place to meet other people and ask them how they make it. It is the best place in terms of networking. Please. Personal development is your responsibility. If you tell yourself, you come here and say, but I know it all. At some point, something you're going to struggle with. Always be open to learning. When someone shows you that what you did is going to harm you along the way, please listen. And especially in network marketing, we're really having challenges. Leaders, it's a business of relationships. If you build your business on relationships of gossip, of integrity that's not good, um, of anything that is negative, at some point it's going to collapse. We want you to continue building. Believe in yourself. Trust in yourself. 
but allow yourself to grow. That's where success is. That's when you're going to start loving APL goals. It's 15 minutes past eight. And I appreciate that you're still here. I hope what we touched on today helped you in some way. I really hope that you don't see this as a waste of time. I truly appreciate because time is valuable and this is part of self-development that we've just spoken about. The more I speak about this thing, the more I grow because I get reminded as well of things that I am not doing. So it's important that we do this. That's why we go to church every seven days. We need to get someone to kind of knock sense into our head to remind us. So that's why we also need to keep meeting and helping each other. So you being here, it shows that we are eager to learn from each other. Leaders, our session ends here. However, for those of you who have questions, comments, you're welcome to do so. I'm still here, I'm not going anywhere. So I'm gonna sit here until we talk, until we you know, answer certain questions or help each other out. If I don't know the answer, we've got 49 leaders in this call, they will help us answer. I appreciate you so much. I wish you a business success. I wish you had a wonderful Christmas and an amazing new year, 2024. We need to have a theme for that year. Um, I think we should do that, hey? Let's get people coming up with a theme for 2024. I know the business always has a theme. I don't know if we have it already, Natalia. APL Go, do we have a theme already for the next year? New innovation. This is the year oh. of innovations in our company oh, thank you Julia. Yes. you know um i was listening to you this is this training is not the first time but today for me i just before our leaders will prepare questions just wanted mm -hmm. to underline belief and self-commitment mm. it is so important because most of people they it's not about now even about self commitment it's about new people who joined about their beliefs hmm. and i wanted to tell you one joke <laughs> okay <laughs> you know one day um grandson and grandmother uh we are walking around the village and grandson asked a question Grandma, whose these beautiful and luxury houses are? And mm -hmm. she said, no, these are of networkers. Mm -hmm. He said, and whose these beautiful and expensive and very luxury cars are? And mm -hmm. she said, the owners are networkers. And he asked, and why we are not doing that? Ooh. Why we do not have that? And she uh -huh. said, we do not believe in this nonsense. Oh. Oh. That's a question oh. for you to have the right belief. It's not about today. It mm. will take a little bit time. Yeah. But in comparison with the normal business, in comparison with the bus, John, mm. in two, three, five years, you can achieve much, much more than even businessmen, you know, very yeah. so wealthy. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much, Julia. Thank you, Octavia. It is amazing. Oh, Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Mami. Wow. Yeah, I, I'm sure leader Octavia, she's just a bit disappointed. It's okay, leadership. I know this network thing can do so much <laughs> that we're not... Yes, I'm with. so disappointed. I hope you can no. hear me now. Oh my yes. goodness. Yes, Thank we you can. so much, Lida Julia. <laughs> this is um, a true testament to teamwork and how yes. we at APL go help each other out no matter what the challenges are. It's been an yeah. absolute pleasure and it was lovely. Thank you so much. And thank you so much to you also, uh, Leader Natalia, for always leading us and always being there for us and empowering us. It's been a great session. Thanks. Thank you, awesome. Octavia. Thank you. Thank you so much.
All right. Anyone would like to open their mic okay. and speak to us? Yes, yes uh, Lydia, yeah. Yeah, ah, you know, I don't even know where to start. But let mm -hmm. me first start with our leader, Natalia, who always there for us. You know what? She's teaching us something. I've learned something from her. That she, she doesn't miss these uh, presentations. Yeah. So, yes, definitely, we are, we are going from that. Then now, to you girls, your, the energy. The energy from both of you, uh, as you said, that you're going to be talking about the things that you know, but you're mm. going to put them in a different way. And indeed, I, I am learning. I am learning, my leader. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Leader Tulani. He's always here, by the way, as well. Lovely. <laughs> He's always with us. <laughs> always with us. Thank you. Thank Such you, a pleasure. Leader. All right. Anyone else? Would like to say something before we go? I'm sure there are. Octavia, there's some anything in the chat? It's just everybody thanking um us for today's session. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Thank you so hi, much, hi, ladies. Oh, hey, hi, ladies. Hi, yes, my hand is not up. I'm trying to, I'm trying to figure out where I put it, but like, yeah, you know that. <laughs> I just want to say you can't find it. Just, <laughs> yeah, I can't find it. It's so busy. I, I just want to say thank you. Thank you so so much um uh, for the training. And um I think uh, Tulana is right starting from uh, uh Natalia to you ladies. I know you've done it before and um yeah. I just want to say thank you. What my request is the next time, let's do the training on prospecting so that um, we can learn also as to now that I've branded myself, now that I've, uh, you know, I, I just want to, to, to do this. And, um, you know, with all the training that you guys have given us, how then do I prospect? How do I you know, prospect um, where I've got um, people that are not in my list or people that I meet, you know, in a gathering and stuff like that. Sometimes it's easy with people that I know, but with people that I don't know, it can be a bit difficult. So let's just have that training so that we can learn. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Leader Busi. Um, I did, I did actually do exactly what you're asking two weeks ago. Um, I don't remember who else was there, but I know Lira Tulani was there. Lira Tulani? I think she's asking about what we did ne? two weeks ago. Ne? Are you still here? Okay, I don't see him. So Lira Busi, I did that, but obviously we will repeat it. There is a recording. There um, is a recording, yes. Yes. I did exactly that two weeks ago. Last week, Thursday, I couldn't do this session. I did apologize. But the week before, it's exactly what you're asking, Leader Busi. And we even got feedback. One of the leaders saying one of the tips that I gave is working for him. So um, I think the recording is there. I will do it sometime, maybe again in January as we open the year, uh, just to help, you know. So yeah, Leader Tulisa. Evening, leaders. Evening, evening. I want to say thank you so much for the thank you so much for the training. I'm new in the business. I haven't sold anything to anyone yet. Wow. I'm enjoying the trainings. I'm learning a lot, and I'm so excited. Like leader Tulani mentioned earlier, you guys, the energy you have, leaders. It's so encouraging for someone who is new and someone who wants to see herself in the next level in life, someone who has tried almost mm. everything but has not been winning. So right. I'm so excited and I get recharged. I don't mind that I, have, I haven't sold anything yet, but I keep mm. coming on more mm. skills and more knowledge. And I know when I start selling and when I start sponsoring others, I'll be mm. at least well informed. Thank you so oh. much and well done. That is so humbling. Thank you so much. Mm. And welcome and congratulations. The journey you're going to take is going to be exciting. You're going to definitely enjoy it. 
Thank you so much, Tulisa. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Um, I don't see any other hand. I just want to say thank you so much. Lovely evening. I think we're going to see you. Mommy, are we having a session on Saturday? It's um beginning of our Christmas. I thought there is no sense mm -hmm. to make something on Saturday okay. because people are be preparing. If you okay. want to do something, just keep me informed. Uh, maximum tomorrow, and yeah. we will do something. Yeah, no, I think a lot of people are preparing for Christmas. The weekends yes. they're going home, so. I don't think so. Even the coming Sunday, it might be the week after that. So everyone, love you so much. Wish you all the best. We'll let you know when we resume. I think it's just a week. It's just for this week. and then It's just a week. Use back. it to make money, yeah. please. Because this is the right <laughs> time, you know? It's yes. the right time. <laughs> Get to your family and give them all GTS. And have exciting yes. times. And then they will come. <laughs> Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night, leaders, good night. and thank you so much. Thank you, leaders. Thank you, leaders, and good night. Thank you, leaders, good and good night, everybody. Bye. Bye bye. Bye. bye.